Chances are, if you play on Hypixel, you realize how many different games there are on the server. From Warlords to Quakecraft, there is a ton of stuff to enjoy on this massive server, but it's likely you don't even play half the games there are to offer. So, out of my own curiosity and lack of original content ideas, I thought it would be interesting to rank my top 10 games that are offered right now on Hypixel. I'm sure this video idea has never been seen before, and I am the first one to do this. Before we get into the ranking though, keep in mind that this list is entirely my own opinion. I will be looking at the game concepts, how immersive a game is, the communities, game length, new player friendliness, and even my own personal experiences to formulate my ranking. You may not agree with this list, and that's entirely fine because everyone's list is different. Feel free to leave your own list in the comments to show me what you agreed and disagreed with. It's very likely, however, that a lot of this stuff is not what you're expecting. So don't just dislike or unsub because you disagree with my order. Don't, don't do it. I'm watching you. I've already wasted enough of your time, and frankly my voice is getting tired, so let's just jump in. Here is a quick list of the top 10 Hypixel games, in my own opinion, ranked in order from 10 to 1. Presented by WatchMojo. Oh, no wait. Presented to you by Omicron Gaming. Let's go. Number 10. Bounty Hunters. Okay, before you all click off this video, once again, this list is entirely my own opinion, and a lot of it is going to be different from your top 10 Hypixel games list. Bounty Hunters is a game found in the arcade games lobby, based off of one in the quiver. There's nothing really special to say about Bounty Hunters, to be honest, but that's why it's fun. It's simple, short, and competitive. Bounty Hunters is really only so high on my list, because I've always been mostly an arcade player with a short attention span, which is why this competitive PvP-based arcade game is one of my favorites. It's short and sweet, but also great for killing time, which makes it number 10 on this list. Number 9. Smash Heroes. So if you hadn't already clicked off the video during the Bounty Hunters segment, you might click off now. Yes, that's right, Smash Heroes. Not a whole lot of people play Smash Heroes, mostly because it's a texture pack based game that's entirely copying Super Smash Bros, The Avengers, Overwatch, etc. The reason I like Smash Heroes though is that for a Minecraft game based off of Smash Bros, it does surprisingly well. All the skills are easy to understand and the variety of heroes makes it a fun experience, and there's actually a lot of progression you can do by buying XP boost boosters, prestiging your heroes, and leveling up and buying new heroes. All in all, a good game to play if you just want to kill some time. Number 8. The Pit. Now we're starting to get into games that most people enjoy. A lot of servers have this sort of open FFA where you jump into an arena and continuously fight against other players. What sets the Hypixel Pit apart from those servers though is that the Pit features a plethora of items, perks, enchants, daily quests, and even leaderboards. So you can spend hours grinding in the Pit for your golden XP to actually help you progress in game. The best part about the Pit that sets it apart from the other competitive games on Hypixel is that the servers are constantly going, meaning that you have all the freedom to hop in and out whenever you want for however long you want. It's also easy to play with friends, which is an added bonus. Overall, there's a lot to do here for an FFA with a lot of effort put into it, making it one of the more notable games across the server. Number 7. Mini Walls. Mini Walls is my favorite arcade game, and it's probably the favorite arcade game of a lot of you. It's based off of Mega Walls, and if you know Mega Walls, you know that those games can take up to an hour every time. Mini Walls is a simpler and faster version of Mega Walls, making it easy to queue into and fun for new players. Your goal is to kill the other team's withers, and then once this is done, players on opposing teams will no longer be able to respawn. Despite the simplicity though, there are still many ways to play the game. You can make an underground tunnel, build a sky base, defend your wither, get a party of four and rush one team, use different kits, go for kills, the list goes on and on, making for a short, competitive minigame that is perfect for grinding arcade coins. I'd highly recommend this to anyone starting out new on Hypixel. Number 6. Bed Wars. It goes without saying that Bed Wars is one of the most iconic games found on the Hypixel network. Before Skyblock, it was the most popular game with tens of thousands among the community. While it is entirely based off of Egg Wars on Cubecraft, Hypixel Bed Wars is addicting and flexible. Like a lot of other games on Hypixel, beds in Bed Wars allow you to respawn, so you want to keep your bed alive while destroying others. The numerous ways to rush and defend against opponents make the experience catered to the players, and the number of shop items and team upgrades only multiplies the number of places. Styles. And while we're talking about different playstyles, keep in mind that Bed Wars was the game that inspired the hundreds of styles of bridging in Minecraft we have today. 
You can play Bed Wars in a variety of different modes and team compositions, and the game overall is very new player friendly since your coins can only buy cosmetic upgrades. Despite all this popularity and diversity though, in my opinion, there are a few other games that are better than Bed Wars, which is why it's only number 6 on this list. Number 5 UHC Champions. I love this game. UHC has always been a popular, if not the most popular game mode in the PvP community, and for good reason. The challenge of not being able to regenerate naturally means that the damage you take stays with you until you find an item of healing. As a result, the MLG Water Bucket and various mob killing strats were born, which completely changed how to play in a vanilla world. So much popularity arose from this simple idea, and the Hypixel take on UHC took it to an even further level. Custom crafts, double health, a shrinking border, and professions made simple UHC faster and more immersive. There's so much to know about Hypixel UHC, which means mastering it takes time, but it is incredibly rewarding during the process. All of this created a prominent UHC community that has allowed YouTubers like Tite and Fruitberries to blow up because of their Hypixel UHC content. I have had so many fond memories of playing UHC with friends, and I can definitely say that it is one of my favorites. However, I can't really place it above number 5. The game is still pretty infested with hackers. It's gotten better, but there are still a lot of B-hoppers and Aura users that can be found almost every other game. And since UHC games are probably longer than all other games on the Hypixel network, losing the game feels worse than it would in a faster game like Skywars or Bed Wars. This is where a lot of UHC hackers and toxicity come from, since people get extremely competitive over this game. Additionally, the profession system and custom recipes mean that the game is not very new player friendly, especially in teams mode. Because of all this, UHC can only come up to number 5 in my eyes. Despite the occasional toxicity though, I'd recommend the game to players that are competitive and like more intense games. Number 4 the Blitz Survival Games. If you've been on this channel before, you know what's up. Blitz is probably my favorite game on the server, although it's probably hard to see why. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kinda trash AF, so falling off the map in Bed Wars and Sky Wars is a true pain for me. But with Blitz, I don't really have to worry about that. Except if we're referring to Kalem V1 or V2 or any map with lava. Those maps are my least favorite, see if you can find out why. I also absolutely love progression-based games where you work hard for several hours straight playing games, all to save up coins for a kit or class upgrade, and with millions of coins worth of spending opportunities in the Blitz shop, Blitz fits that progression category as well. Finally, games of Blitz are short and simple, which means that it's easy to take a break at any time, and the survival games idea is easy to understand for newer players. All in all, Blitz is a great minigame. You might be wondering though why it's not number one, after all I did say it's my favorite Hypixel game. Similar to UHC, there are toxic parts in the Blitz community which make the game unenjoyable a lot of the time. Kill steals, the Blitz star, teaming, and the occasional hacker can all wear you down when you're just trying to grind a few coins for a kit upgrade. And even though I mentioned that Blitz as an idea is easy to understand, it's still not very new player friendly because of level 10 kits everywhere. Your best option as a newer player is to grind during Blitz hour where coins are doubled and you can get a free random level 10 kit. However, like UHC, grinding and getting better at Blitz can be extremely fun and a rewarding experience experience, where you never know what to expect next. Number 3. Skywars. Ah yes, one of the most iconic and defining games of Hypixel's existence. Skywars is a game that almost every Minecraft player has played, and it's a game that everyone should play at least once. It's older than a lot of other games on Hypixel, and yet it still pulls in thousands of players every day because it's such a simple yet captivating game. The games are short and the idea is straightforward, but the amount of things you can do with it make the possibilities almost endless. Additionally, like most games on the server, Hypixel offers its own twist with tons of kits, tons of different game modes, perks, game game effects, and of course cosmetics. There's a lot to discover and play with in Skywars, making it enjoyable for almost everyone. So what's keeping it from number one or number two? If you played Ranked Skywars, you probably understand the extreme toxicity and hacker pool. Ranked Skywars is the worst game mode on the server in terms of cheaters and toxicity, which sucks since an ELO-based Skywars game actually sounds really cool outside of practice. Mega Skywars used to be really cool, but because it has been neglected, games rarely ever fill up, making it one of the most irrelevant games on the server. And finally, Skywars games are fun, but there's really not much to do or shoot for. Getting new kits and buying perks is a side quest, and only takes a few weeks to almost max everything out, meaning that once you've maxed out the shop, the only thing left is to get all the cosmetics. They did try to revamp Skywars with the Skywars leveling system, but getting levels is a slow and tedious process, especially when compared to UHC or Bed Wars stars. Despite these minor problems though, Skywars is an outstanding game and will forever be an icon of Hypixel for its nostalgia, simplicity, and heaps of fun. Number 2 
mega walls. This may probably anger some people, but again, keep in mind this is my list of my own opinion. Back in 2014 when I started to play on Hypixel, I was drawn to mega walls after seeing Jerome ASF and Vicstar make videos on it. Before this, I had only ever played party games in the arcade lobby, so mega walls was both my first exposure to Minecraft PvP and the first game on Hypixel I ever grinded. So with my crappy cheap Acer laptop, I joined the game and was immediately hooked. For a solid few months, every opportunity on Minecraft I had was spent on mega walls. I joined a mega walls guild called the Clutchers. I saved up coins to max kits. I joined so many parties with friends just to grind a few games. Whenever I think of the first few years I played on Hypixel, I always go back to those days of rushing diamonds, building complex team defenses, doing GVGs, and just plain messing around. And when I did get a win in Mega Walls, it was the most rewarding experience of any game I'd ever played. My memories, however, are from 2014, and the game has changed a lot since then. Honestly, I think I had more fun back in 2014 because the experience was more rewarding. Grinding coins was a lot tougher back then then yes, but when you finally got to a level 9 perk or maxed kit, it was monumental and rewarding. These days, maxing out a class in Mega Walls costs about as much as a library card. What sets Mega Walls apart from other games though is the heavy team aspect. You can be a complete god at PvP or a master of your class, but because there's about 20 to 25 players on each team, not even a b-hopper can ensure victory. This massive team aspect is what gave me all those memories and nostalgia. If you've never played Mega Walls before or are wondering why it's so high on this list, I highly encourage that you try it. You probably won't have an experience similar to what I had a few years ago, but it is still an immersive game. The sole reason it is here is because this is my list and I have an emotional attachment to it that I don't have with other games. So then, what must be number one? Number one. Skyblock. While Mega Walls was one of the first Hypixel games I've played, Hypixel Skyblock is the most recent game I've played. Hypixel Skyblock is a game that has revolutionized Minecraft server games forever. With custom GUIs, advanced mobs, hundreds of collections, crafts, and skills, custom enchants, and so much to explore, Hypixel Skyblock is easily the number one game on Hypixel for me, especially right now. There's so much to do here, and the number of playstyles available is insane. Do you like fishing? Well, there's a skill in collections for that. That. Do you like combat? Tons of mobs, sword enchants, and items to fight with. Maybe you like cosmetics. There's hundreds of blocks and items to use at your disposal. Maxing out all of Hypixel Skyblock could take years because there's so much to upgrade and collect that it's almost overwhelming but that also means that there's tons and tons of stuff to do. I was debating putting Skyblock as number one or even on this list because truth be told, I don't even play Hypixel Skyblock that much. I made a video talking about how little I have in Skyblock, yet to me, Hypixel Skyblock is a wildly impressive game with endless potential, even if I don't play it that often. That shows how much this game shocked me and it definitely deserves the number one spot both on my list and probably a lot of yours as well. So there you have it, a top 10 ranking of all the mini games Hypixel has to offer. Did you agree with this list? If not, I completely understand. Remember, this list was almost entirely catered to my own opinion, and chances are your top 10 list is your opinion as well. Regardless, feel free to leave your own top 10 list in the comments to show me what you agreed and disagreed with. You can also leave a comment down below of what I should rank next. Finally, liking and subscribing is greatly appreciated, especially if you want to see stuff like this and a plethora of other content my channel has to offer. Hopefully you're not tired of me yet. Thanks again for watching my top 10 ranking of all Hypixel games. My name's Omicron, and I'll see you again later. Peace out.